Greetings, sacred star sea of the golden winged discs of Lemuria. We are activating, we are awakening, we are expanding. The ascension energies are expanding and accelerating with the incoming galactic energies of Central Sun. A lot of intense energies today. We had a massive blast, 78 hertz on the Schumann resonance field. Massive blast of white light as we are entering this powerful wave spell of the white wind. The white wind wave spell as we're entering into Kin 222 today on the 19th, 19th of February. We also had an uptick in the earthquake activity around Pachamama. The whole ring of fire was lit up today. We had over 147 earthquakes and 1.5 or greater in the past 24 hours. And there is an interesting pattern, this massive line going through the United States, starting in Puerto Rico, 3.1, up through Gardendale, Texas, 3.3, off the coast of Oregon, 4.5, and up into Alaska, 3.3. So it's a very unique pattern, one that I haven't seen before, with these large waves flowing through in this perfect line diagonal through the map, starting in the Atlantic up through the Pacific, from Le the Lemurian energy in the Pacific down through the western field of the United States of America down into the Atlantean energies of the Atlantic Ocean through Puerto Rico. Then we also had multiple earthquakes around the left wing of the Ring of Fire. We had a, the largest 5.2 was in Guam. We had a 4.8 in Papua New Guinea. Taiwan had a 4.1 in Japan. Hokkaido, 4.7. So this whole ring of fire is lighting up, activating, as we are rising up through these ascension energies. We're feeling this deeply into the core of our beings. I was visited today from our crow family as he transmitted the crow medicine, the crow frequency, activating my crown. Right now my third eye crown and skull is pulsating at these higher frequencies, resonance, Feeling it deeply into the crystal core, the crystal palace, in the center of the brain. Expanding out through the whole field, the right and the left hemisphere of the brain, fully lit up. So a lot of energy is coming in, many things coming in through the field. Yesterday we spoke of this energy that came through the Q Collective quantum field that reported game over. So I want to clarify a little bit, and the game is over for the dark, for the nefarious ones, for the false ones, and it's game on for the light workers, star seeds, way showers, warriors of the light. We are being fully activated. We are entering God mode, players of this matrix game, and it's time to rise up and lift up, lift off to raise the frequency of this whole realm. And how do we do this? With our intent, with our love, our light, with our joy, our love, our bliss, as with our mind, our inner conscious mind going into that still center, fully conscious. And this is gonna be magnified, multiplied and accelerated, expanded with this white wind. Today is the white magnetic wind that it connects us to the white magnetic center through our breath. The wind is the breath of life, the breath of the great spirit, the Holy Spirit. And the white is the still center, the still white magnetic light that as it expands out, going through the prism, creating the seven colors of the rainbow bridge, the seven colors of the electromagnetic spectrum, which become the billion colors we see with our sensory organ through the eyes, the visual center, Many things are coming into our vision. The eyes of our spirit are opening to connect to all things as we feel this through our heart center. Today's first transmission from Celia Fenn. Today the sun moved into Pisces 
bringing a deeper and softer energy than the intense Aquarius energy we have been experiencing for the last month. We are not out of the Aquarius gate energy yet, though, because tomorrow is the 20 to 2020. All those twos again, adding up to eight. In the U.S., we have two, two, zero, two, zero, two, zero, also eight. Just the last echo of the powerful shifts and energies that we have been riding since mid-January. Because Mercury has also gone into retrograde, I would advise a quiet day on the 20th. Allow yourself to feel the deep levels of soul and self that are accessible at this time. Breathe, relax, connect with soul and higher self. You are a diamond light dancer. You hear the song of your soul. Be at peace, swim in the deep cosmic waters where you find your original divine source energy. All is in divine order. From Celia Fenn and from Pars Kute, energy is pouring onto the earth plane in astronomical amounts now, and people are waking up by the millions. They are waking up to the divinity of all life and are beginning to see and sense beyond their physical five senses of taste, touch, smell, hearing, and seeing. They are becoming aware of forces that exist in higher states of consciousness, and this alone will save the earth. When a critical mass of people worldwide reaches this higher state of awareness, everyone will suddenly wake up and the destruction will stop. We overcome environmental destruction not through the environment but through ourselves. Every thought, feeling, action, and the words we use determine our level of consciousness. Be still and just be. It is in stillness that crystal clear inner guidance is received with sacred love and oneness. Pars Kute. And from the Archangelic Calendar, Mesa is the 333 gate. Archangel Orion, the missing link has been found, assignment Saturn and Luna. Gaia is in a heavy earth phase, and this may be causing a very dense, sluggish feeling. She is clearly protecting her children for what is to come and comforting their souls. She is also seeding things to grow at a slow and steady pace. This means that we have good things to look forward to long term. Mesa is a wonderfully bright star located at the head of the Orion constellation, Lambda Orionis. She is an extremely wonderful grouping of stars who has a combined magnitude, measure of a state flux of 3.33, and its name literally means the Shining One. She has been trying to get our attention for some time now. The other interesting thing is that Archangel Orion is also known for working the 333 gate, and this solves the mystery of who his female counterpart is that he speaks so highly of. This is one of the reasons many of us are seeing the 33, the 333, coming through our collective energies and through our synchronicities. Anyone familiar with Nikola Tesla's work knows that one can harness energy and electricity from stars, no matter how near or far. That makes the message Mesa is sending us that much more beautiful and meaningful. This was the most unique telekinesis conversation that I have ever experienced, as she speaks much like a record player on the wrong setting in long and slow circles. If you want to talk to her, you really need patience to figure out what she is trying to communicate. I noticed that Mesa was changing colors very frequently, so naturally I asked her if I could be of assistance. She explained over the course of a few days that she was the sacred feminine who is in charge of the 333 gate and that she is responsible for the incoming upgrades that we are currently experiencing. She went on to tell the story about a time when humans inhabited the masses around her orbit and that much of the DNA of her children are within us. She was very emotional when telling me this part because that specific faction has long been extinct. In fact, she went on to say that the human star race has incarnated in several other places besides Earth prior to our arrival. Mesa said that she was, has many avatars in smaller physical bodies, but none that we are familiar with as of yet. She has an archangel avatar as well, but that's specific 
archangel is from a sector that does not have names, only symbols. This is much in the same way that Archangel AF and Archangel FA are, but unlike them, she rarely works below the 144th dimension as an Archangel incarnate, and that does not have a nickname. Mesa also wants us to know that she has opened the 333 electrical gateway, which provides an umbilical from our crown chakra directly to her. This star connection is one of many, but this specific one is an extremely noticeable upgrade to our personal collections of energy. The reason why this will hit more than most is because it is the missing aspect of our ascension, the actual missing link that we have been searching for, the connection to our enhanced star DNA, which lies dormant inside of us, waiting for this moment to awaken. And this is Mesa, M-E-I-S-S-A, some cultures pronounce it mesa some mesa or miesa but more common i see is mesa like m-e-s-s-a like a mesa in the west the people of china were on the verge of overthrowing their government until it was seen in project looking glass before the dark device was destroyed and then just like that the coronavirus was released the point of this statement is to say many are playing checkers on a chessboard and we must realize that this battle can only be won or lost in the higher dimensions. The changes that we can create through these works can move mountains in a flash. Corruption is nowhere near as tough. Assignments? The portal of Saturn is an extremely active gateway. Normally the Arcturians regulate all gateways this size, but this one was opened by beings who are having an extremely hard time keeping it stable. That is mostly because they didn't have the greatest of intentions to begin with, but we can overtake this portal with ease. There are not too many macro techniques that will work. The key is in the engineering department. Our best approach is to stabilize the outer walls with golden plasma, the inner walls with pink plasma, and the eye with rainbow plasma for 72 seconds. Two, the moon has a temple on its far side that influences macro emotions on Earth. On full and new moons, this temple is aligned with the galactic center and the central sun and is amplified. This temple can be calibrated in many different ways, the easiest being colored plasma, and there's no wrong colored plasma in this scenario. Just be sure to light its center in all 12 of its corners, this will manifest during the upcoming new moon phase. 3. The battle on the 11th dimension is still going on, albeit much more manageable. The next phase is going to be diamond, flame, in order to cleanse out the conduits and to ensure that we only have direct communication with the parties who have our best at heart from the 11th dimension. And this is from the archangeliccalendar.wordpress.com. And as with all our transmissions, we post and archive these on primedisclosure.com. The link is in the description below because we usually add much more There's into the archive and the webpage that you can do much more research and get more activations and synchronicities through our website. So you can follow that link below. Today... From the Gene Keys, Unlocking the Higher Purpose Hidden in Your DNA by Richard Rudd, February 19 through February 24, 2020. Gene Key 55, Freedom. And this is synchronic with yesterday's transmission about the crystal matrix, 55, symbolizing 5D, the 5D energies. So with this freedom energy... The trinity is victimization, freedom, freedom, the great change. You can't chase freedom. You can't run out and sell everything and drop your dreams and become a monk or a hermit drifting about. We have no chance of dropping our dreams. We have to be so patient. Freedom will come on its own without our doing anything. We have to live as a human with all the trappings and trimmings and from within our humanity. Freedom will arise naturally. Excerpt from the 64 ways. Dream key 55. Freedom, freedom, victimization, the dragonfly's dream. Ultimate freedom has nothing to do with your life circumstances. 
It is the freedom of allowing the self to dissolve into the waves of the ocean. It is the freedom that is born through one's absolute trust in life. And in the magical hologenetic gene keys geometry, CD, freedom is the awakening of rapture. Gift, freedom is the initiative of lightness. Shadow, victimization is the agitation of desire. This week, Gene Keys 55, 51, and 30 are interwoven. And from the Yi Ching, Code 55, Abundance. Spiritual thunder ignites passionate fire. Awareness penetrates deep into the body. Rise up and meet the highest frequency. Realization of passion. When the king is enlightened, there is no need to fear a change. And this all has to do with this great awakening into the abundance for all life, where all beings not only thrive, but are sovereign, where we each individually reign over our own souls. We all are becoming the kings and queens of our kingdom, our domain, the earth realm. Aho! Today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 222, White magnetic wind. Magnetic is the name for the number one, and its key words are unify, attract, and purpose. Today is also a portal day, the only one in this wave spell, and one of only two wave spells that begin on a portal day. The other is red dragon. As with the beginning of all wave spells, we must contemplate the agenda and make a conscious effort to journey with it. Today is white wind which represents communication, spirit, and breath. A wave spell that begins on a portal day and a white wind can only mean one thing. We must open the channels of communication. Now is the right time to start that dialogue, ask that question, or write a story. Today, this opportunity to express yourself and be heard. When you combine the meaning of the number and day, the result is attract communication or unify spirit. To summarize, if talking is not your thing, work on it over the next 13 days. You may be surprised where that may take you. The guide today is also white wind. And from Christina Papa Giorgio, white magnetic wind, kin 222, 19 February 2020, gap portal day. 19 to 2020 equal 10 to 22 equal 1, 2, 2, 2 equals 7. 19, the Prince of Heaven, Fulfillment, Honor, Happiness. 10, Manifestation, Power, Authority, Leadership. 1, New Beginnings. 22, 22, Architect of Peace, Master Builder. 7, Magic, Mysticism, Spiritual, Solitude. Kin 222 is amplifying the two 22 codes prevalent this month. 222 equals 6. Heaven, Christ, Romance, Harmony, Family. A totally royal lineup of heavenly codes again today. A divinely orchestrated blessing from Spirit. Today is the first day in our 13-day journey through the wave spell of Eek. The white wind also holds the power of Father God, the masculine aspect of Source Creator, the key words for the white wind are spirit, breath, and communication. So our purpose for this wave spell is to become hollow vessels, freeing ourselves from lower ego and allowing the breath of the Holy Spirit to flow through us, becoming divine messengers, channeling source. In divine synchronic harmony, this white wind wave spell also coincides with the planet Mercury being in its r retrograde Cycle from February 17 to March 10, 2020. Mercury is the winged messenger who represents communication, which is the theme of this wave spell. The gift of Mercury is that we will be able to really delve into our inner world and truly commune with spirit, with heightened awareness and the abilities to really hear and connect with our heavenly guidance from spirit. Equally, the path is two-way, so our prayers will be heard, answered, and responded to, as we can both transmit and receive with much more clarity. Spirit is talking, 
giving us divine messages and Mercury is ensuring we hear it and embody it. So his powers are even more potent in affecting our inner being, our self-talk, and our subconscious messages and programs. As Mercury journeys, we will be reflecting on our communications and transactions with others, helping us to reset our minds, words, and those of our financial, technological, and communication systems in every arena. It is time to upgrade all systems to the divine harmonic order. What is even more fantastic is that the sun enters Pisces today, so the entire white wind wave spell coincides with the most spiritually attuned sign of the zodiac, further tripling the divine channeling capacities. Pisces is the compassionate humanitarian in service to spirit, so many starseeds will find their divine destiny path accelerated during this cycle. We have a phenomenal code today with the 2 and 22 codes of partnership and peace activated as we continue to build a solid foundation for our abundant new world. The 7 code amplifies the spiritual energies, allowing for more magic and miracles to unfold. Today we are setting the tone for this cycle that is setting forth our goals, purpose, and intention of how we wish to utilize the flow of spirit through our vessel. Tone of creation, magnetic is tone 1 in the spiritual realm as we initiate a new wave cells cycle. Power attracts action, unifies essence, purpose. Day one of a new wave spell always starts with the magnetic tone of purpose. In the beginning was the one. From out of nothing, here one comes, spinning happily, magnetizing all that it requires for more excellent adventuring. Once strong in purpose, all will effortlessly come together. The magnetic tone is all about attraction, attracting everything that you require to fulfill your purpose and your goals, people, resources, relationships, money, support, and all that you can imagine. Today, we are seeking to attract better communication with our Creator, ourselves, and our kin. We are seeking to unify with all of our world. The attraction seeks to unify all as one as we collectively manifest our new 5D Earth together. Magnetic kin have a very strong connection to Source, and a gravitational pull to return there and bring all their buddies with them. The power of one is very strong today as it unites us all as one humanity. This will also be the theme for the wave spell unification through the power of spirit. In God we trust. Fill your vessel with the breath of spirit and radiate this holy light far out beyond the galaxy. So blessed are we, precious hearts, an extremely powerful day and 13-day cycle for basking in pure devotion to spirit as you forge a crystal clear connection to source. Today's question is how can I attract all that I need for my divine purpose through communicating the breath of spirit through my being, divine gratitude for the divine miracles and blessings we are about to receive Amen. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. This is a sacred salutation which is used by all the hierarchy and sons and daughters of light to greet the Father before his throne. Enjoy on this holy divine day. In Lakek Alakin, Christina, White Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. And from the Dream Spell Journey by Valom Votan and Balon. In the dream spell, the white wind is the solar seal number two, which is exactly associated with wind and color white being part of the white root race of the spiritual refiners. The white wind has the action of communication with the essence of breath and the power of spirit. Kin 222, magnetic wind, one wind. The kin bearer of this wave spell is a galactic activation portal, gap day, and a relevant prophetic kin. Kin 222 is the dream spell kin of Tony Shearer, 27 October 1926, an American visionary author and piper who arranged the ancient 260-day Mesoamerican count into the 1320 matrix, which is today recognized as the 13 by 20 arrangement of the Zolkin, Shearer, 1975. Tony Shearer also proposed the Quetzalcoatl calendar of 13 months, times 28 days in harmony with the 1320 count, a great source of inspiration for the dream spell, 13 moons calendar of Jose and Lloydine Arwillis, 
1991 to 1992. Additionally, Shearer was the one who first calculated the dates of the harmonic convergence, 15 to 16 August 1987, and the 21 December 2012 closing of the 13th Maya Bakhtun cycle. Additionally, he presented the Quetzalcoatl prophecy of the 13 heavens and the 9 hells. Kin 222 was also the solar return kin, 15 May 1987, of Loidin Balon Ik during the Harmonic Convergence 1987. Jose Volumvotan was rotating as kin 111, then 222 plus 111 equal 333 the amplified power of the messengers of the new time. It is also interesting to note that Balon X Kin 22 and Kin 222 are perfect mirrors of each other on the Zolkin matrix and are the only two galactic activation portals of the white wind. 19 February 2020, NS1.32.8.13, Kin 222, white magnetic wind, I unify in order to communicate. Attracting breath, I seal the input of spirit. With a magnetic tone of purpose, I am guided by my own power doubled. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. It is time, beloved bro stars and sisters of the light, to fully step into our unlimited power and to express and expand that power from the sacred space of our divine holy flame in our heart center. The threefold flame that is fully lighting up, rising up through the central channel, activating all centers, all portals, all gateways, fully open, fully activated, and ready to enter fully into our sacred missions. So, beloved beings of light, let us know in the comments below what you are experiencing, what you're feeling, what you are seeing, your visions, your synchronicities. I appreciate each and every one of you for sharing your stories with us all. Thank you for connecting with all of us. We appreciate your support, your kindness, your love. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Click the subscribe button below. Click the little bell next to subscribe to get notifications on future uploads and updates. So we appreciate all that you are doing, Starseed, for all of humanity, all life, and all realms. Have a beautiful and blessed day and an amazing dream spell journey ahead. I love you all. Namaste.